It's Darren Wood here at Food Ingredients Europe 2017 and I'm on the IOI Loaders Crockland stand and we're talking about their new product that they're launching at the show and I'm talking with Renee. Renee, thank you so much for joining me today. Please tell me all about your new product that you're showcasing. Right. Our product is called Presto 270 SB. The SB stands for Shea Base, so in principle this can work as a uh, palm alternative as well. Now we are a company that is both strong in palm as well as in shea and in other oils. Uh, so for us, uh, a palm alternative means that it really has to bring additional value over our existing range of products. Um, and, <clears throat> and I have to be, say that we're extremely proud of what we have achieved with Presto 270 SB because it delivers a great puff, um, also a huge uh, saturated fat reduction, uh, which is normally needed to, to achieve the, the puff and the crispiness in puff pastry. Um, and it's much more affordable than other palm alternatives and, and um, also is great in terms of workability. So, so it's really not a compromise but it hits home on every single critical aspect of the puff pastry application. And that makes it great to eat and it's also affordable and workable. One of the things that interests me about the Presto is the uh, low saturated fats. Mm -hmm. We live in a world now where clean label and natural ingredients is key. Yeah. How have you uh, managed to come up with this and what challenges have there been? Mm -hmm. Well, we have a vast range of, of options when it comes to our, our fats, like I explained. Uh, and, and so we, we managed to combine uh, specific fats and also apply our uh, technologies uh, that, that are uh, uh, largely natural as well uh, to make sure that we get the right functionality into these fats. Yeah, so, and that's how we, we did it. Uh, we, we started with, with, like I said, combining the right fats, uh, seeing how they worked in the applications. Uh, we went through several stages from the lab to the pilot to the plant, working also with external partners, uh, equipment suppliers, uh, customers as well, who were happy to, to try out uh, the, this product with us. Um, and in some cases, uh, of course, it, it worked great. In other cases, it did not. It was really a learning process for all of us. And now I, I assume there were many trials along the way. What sort of <coughs> what sort of things did the company do to ensure that the flavour was just right? Mm -hmm. Well, um, like I said, we, we did a lot of lab work uh, also in our application kitchen, in our creative studio, also with customers, uh, to try and if we, if we could make the right kind of shortening, uh, and and then apply it in in various uh, examples of puff pastries as well. So, like we have on the stand here, we have some uh, cheese sticks. Uh, we have some volovan, some pastry cups. Uh, in fact, the pastry cups are filled with a very nice soft filling as well, um, which uh, stays soft and, and the puff pastry cup uh, stays nicely crisp, which is really critical, of course, in that application. Um, so it's really uh, combining the best of, bo of both worlds. Absolutely. It's been an 18-month journey for you and it's culminated here today yes. at uh, FIE 2017. Yep. What's the consumer or customer reception been to the product? Customers are extremely positive about the whole, whole idea. Uh, they like the fact that it's delivering a great product, uh, that it's workable and that it's also much more affordable than other uh, palm alternatives as well. I hope we hear more about this on foodbev.com very soon. Renee, for now, thank you so much. Thank you too.